Interesting to talk about an emperor, but this emperor is a different emperor, an emperor from Roman Empire. In the Roman Empire, it has got a deep connection to India and maybe an Indian emperor. Aurel was a Roman emperor who reigned during the crisis of the third century from 270 AD to 275 AD. As the emperor, he won an unprecedented series of military victories, which reunited the Roman Empire after it had nearly disintegrated under the pressure of barbarian invasion and internal revolts. Orion, born 9 September 214 AD, was assassinated on October 275 AD in Turkey, said, you have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Only a person who is deeply connected to the Indian yoga shastra can talk or create a language of this nature. Hence, I said this Roman em emperor must have been, Orin must have been an Indian yogi or a Kshatriya who was deeply involved with the masters. Not a Ronin, not a man without a master. Can you just believe Orin said, you have the power over your mind. How do you get power over the mind? Even the greatest cardiologist for the reversal of heart diseases, Dr. Dean Ornish, said two groups of people like that to find out how medicines work better. One group I said you take medicines, all the allopathy medicines. Another group I said you take medicines, but you meditate also. So one group was not meditating, another group was meditating. When you meditate, you have the control of your mind. You are watchful. You become an observant. You become conscious. And Dr. Dean Ornish, after his scientific experiments, he found out the people who took the medicines and did not meditate, their diseases have not come down. But the people who have taken medicine and meditated, they have almost, the diseases are gone, it seems. Such is the power of the medicine. And that meditation, power of the mind, what Orin talked in 214, our Rigveda Shastras talk about 90,000 year old Yoga Shastra. 90,000 year old back. And you see the Roman Emperor talking about and that comes only from our pranayama. To control the mind, you have to control your breath. And the pranayama helps you to control the breath. And you watch the breath, you watch your mind, you control your mind. When you control your mind, you control other people, you control the nature. You are the truth. You are the power. And through the truth and the power, not you grab it. But what's becoming watchful, you have seen God. And that was the clarity of you as a leader to lead. Orion said, you have the power over your mind, not outside events. Outside came after the industrial revolution. A major part of the things was outside. When, when you're going outside, you look at outside, you look into your mobile, you look into social media non-stop, look into the films, you look into your leaders, outside events, you lose your energy. You have the power over, your, over the mind, realize this and you will find strength. And when you look into you, and all the Maharishis kept on telling you, 
Even Jesus Christ kept on saying, knock and the door shall, he said, kept knocking your, yourself, ask, keep asking you, make yourself strong, powerfully strong. That is to knock, means punch, punch again and again on the same thing. And you can crack any toughest code in the whole world. In your, any question you can crack it, knock. And that is what Orion said. You have the power over your mind. Realize this and you will find strength not outside events. People all started looking outside. They went for education outside the house. Never mind, but I'm still insisting to strengthen their family. You have to have another school running inside that is a Sanskrit. Only after teaching the Sanskrit you can go outside. Early morning, make sure before the sun rises, our Sanskrit is practiced, including our prayer, the song, which creates a ragat thala palavi to stabilize the vocal cords, the pranayama, which strengthens our breath, the tridak, the surya namaskar, looking at the sun and doing the surya namaskar, rushing up to the line to make sure every day, Aditi Devo Bhava, at what time the guest comes. No, it is no, no, no. That is not our Hindu culture. I think there any time, so we make sure the line is beautifully tilted, tilt, or uh, light is beautifully manicured and be uh, pedicured, and the ponds are running so beautifully, the, the lily pond or lotus, so that when the rain comes. It goes to the proper channels, so the groundwater is recharged. You get non-stop winds, and all the plants surrounding you are in the grid. That is your strength when you see that. And when the sun rises, you see the power of the sun, and you make sure you rush up to clean up all the solar panels so that the energy has been all taken into the fixed deposits. And nighttime, you have enough lights. You have the power over your mind. Only that such a person who can talk, only a Maharishi can talk, only a yoga expert can talk. And Orin was a yoga master. Orin was one of the India's Maharishis. Only such a person can open the mouth. And he kept on telling, as Emperor he won an unpleasant series of military victories which reunited the Roman Empire after it nearly descended because all those Maharishis are telling, the family is getting disintegrated. Go back to your family. To, uh, go back to your family. You have to practice your Sanskrit. When the family is united, when the father, mother and children are together, when they are in love, the joint family comes up. When the joint family is there, the family tree stay strong. Stay strong. When the family tree is raw, gone. Barbarians invade. Old Maharishi said, I kept on repeating again and again and again and again. Please listen. Which reunited Roman Empire after it nearly descended under the pressure of barbarian invasion to internal revolts. When your joint family is disconnected, when your family tree is disconnected, pressure or under the pressure of barbarian invasion to internal revolts. Internal rewards. You do not know whom to call. Smallest sickness, you rush up to the hospital. Smallest problem, rush up to the ashrams. You become a nobody. They have taken over. You become a slave. You are working the factories and the companies. Hence, my insistence: go back to your family, love your family, sit with your family. That was all. Orion also said in two hundred fourteen. Hence, he went to reunite military victories, a war, not the destructive war of what I'm talking. I'm talking of a creative war of rainwater harvest and solar wind energy, the Sanskrit, the love relationships. Yes, if we can have all this, feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. And plan, organs, direct control, execute. You have the strength, power and strength. Take it, power and strength. You all are running for power and strength, looking power and strength. I'm asking you, I'll take it, I'm giving you. Follow this path. Orion said, You have the power over your mind. Only if you meditate. After the strongest karma yoga, after you sweat it up, you become so powerful. 
when you have the power over your mind, when you meditate, not outside even. So you do not have to go outside even. You do not have to look outside to find your strength, to learn anything from them. You do not have to become a beggar to learn from them. You have the power. Ramana Maharshi, knock and Ramana Maharshi, ask, who am I? No, that is your strength. Realize this and you will find strength.